Hello everyone, today we're going to make some sculptures based on the work of Alberto Giacometti. So what you'll need today to make this one, here's one that, um, that I've made before. And it should be able to stand up on its own as well. So you need some tin foil and you need a felt tip pen any kind, a pair of scissors and just some pennies, any coins really, just to help it to stand up. Okay and before we get started just to remind you this wasn't my first attempt so my first one or two um, I had to work on to get them looking the way I wanted to. So don't worry if your first one doesn't come out the way you want it to, just have a practice now. They look good in a little group. So you need a piece of tin foil, about the size of a piece of A4 paper, but you could experiment once you've made one, make some larger ones, make some smaller ones, see which size works best for you. But A4 is a good size to start with. So once you've got the paper, you need your felt tip and you're going to make some markings on here to show. So I'm marking, just finding about halfway point, I'm going to do a mark down there to start with. And I'll make a wee mark at the side as well, just to show I'm halfway. And then I'm going to make this shape at the top here, two lines. Oh, smudged it, there we go. And another two lines coming in. Okay. You might need someone to help you draw these lines just to get yourself started. So I'm going to write on here what each part is going to be. So I've got two legs, I've got the head at the top. And then these are going to be the arms. And the bits at the side are going to be part of the body. And Giacometti's, Giacometti's sculptures had really thin bodies and thin long arms and legs. So we're going to try and show that in our work today. So once you've got that all drawn, you're going to cut into your um, tin foil. And cutting into your tin foil is actually a really good way as well to sharpen up your scissors. So you should have nice sharp scissors at the end of this. Okay, so to get started, we're not going to make the folds too tight to start with. We're just going to do them quite loose and then we'll tighten them all up later. So I'm just going to start folding in the legs. I'm just going to fold it over a bit. Try not to scrunch it too much at the moment. Just sort of rolling it over really in towards the middle. Pull the other side a little bit as well. There we go. and do the second leg, same way. Okay, so next up, I'm just gonna start folding in the body. Just roll in one side and then do the other side. Okay, it's looking a bit wide at the moment, but we'll fix that in a minute. So we're going to do the arms, and if you can do quite a long fold in the arms, so you're folding right into the corners, 
and that'll give you those really, really long arms because your arms should come down kind of between the hips and the knees. So they should be really quite nice and long. So there's one nice long arm and this one as well. I'm going to fold it the longest way I can right into the corner. And don't worry if your tinfoil rips a little bit. That's happened to me and it's going to happen quite soon. You'll see in the video and I'll show you how to fix that if you accidentally tear an arm off. That sometimes happens. But it's really easy to fix. So we'll go to the head next and think about what shape you want the head to be as you're scrunching it in. Do you want it to be round? Do you want it to be oval? You can change it and you can add to it later. So you can see I've got a basic body shape now. And it doesn't really look like a Giacometti sculpture at the moment. So we're going to have to, to work on it a little bit. And what we're going to do first is pinch the body in. So I'm just sort of squeezing in the body like that. And just really have to sort of pinch it and squeeze it in and it will make it really strong and you can get the shape that you want. Okay, then we're going to do the same with the legs. Just pinching them all the way down. Try and keep them straight to start with if you can. And then later on you can think about how you want to pose your figure. Oh, and as I told you, some bits fall off. So that's my leg has fallen off. So what I'm going to do is just cut a wee square of tin foil and do a repair job. So this might happen to you. Probably will the first couple of times you make one of these. So all you need to do is get a bit of tin foil and just sort of sit the broken bit on top of the tin foil and just kind of wrap it round. Sorry, my hand's a little bit in the way there, but I'm just wrapping it round. And I had to rip it a little bit there and just pinch it all back round. And it just keeps on, gets it really nice and strong. Might be a good idea to do that anyway, even if it doesn't rip just to get your joints really strong so when you're posing it, it doesn't break later on. So just pinching all the, the tin foil all the way down, get it as tight as you can and it'll look much more like the type of sculpture you're trying to make. So we can do a bit more on the arms as well. I'm holding it at the shoulder so that hopefully it doesn't fall off this time. And as you're making it, you might start to think about what your figure is going to be doing. Maybe they're playing your favorite sport. So I'm just gonna get a head again, just thinking about that head shape and give the neck a really good pinch in so that you can see where the head begins and ends. So you can see now the body and the arms are starting to get really thin and long and so that's starting to, that's how we really want them to look for this type of sculpture. And you might need to go back over it a few times. And then Now you might want your figure to stand, and at the moment it won't stand, it's just going to fall over. So that's what we're going to look at next, and that's where you'll need your pennies. You can use any coins at all, it doesn't matter, or you might have something else that you could use. You could try buttons or whatever you've got. And you'll need a bit more tin foil, so just, um, I'm just going to cut a strip off and then just some a square or a rectangle, it needs to be a bit bigger than the, the pennies. So I need two of those. I'm going to use two pennies. I found with one it wasn't standing up enough for me, so I experimented a bit. If your pose that your figure's going into is 
maybe leaning over, maybe they're going to be ice skating or maybe they're cartwheeling and you've only got one foot on the ground, you might need to put more pennies in there or more coins in to really to weigh it down, stop it falling over. So I'm going to do the same again. So I just put them in, fold over the corner and then fold the sides over and I've left a little kind of part that you can poke your finger in and that's where the leg's going to go into. So, so I'll pinch it around the pennies at the bottom to keep them in and like a little case for it and then just pop it on. This point as well, you can make the legs a bit longer. If you think your legs look too short, you can make them a bit longer this way, which is quite good. So then just pinch it on. And the good thing about using tin foil is you can't see the join, so um, you can experiment and you can play around with your bodies, your sculptures a little bit. Great, so that one's standing now. It would be a good ice skater, or maybe it's a curler and it's about to um, throw a curling ball. Just making sure it's really pinched in and you could start to think about where your knees are going to be so you can start doing some bending. There we go. And adding in some elbows as well. So I'm going to put on the second foot now. You might not want the pennies in the second foot if you're having the foot off the ground. So you could just um, you could just make a shape with the tin foil instead, or you could maybe just try it with one one penny or or something else that's lighter. Right. But this will really help it to stand up. Okay. And then this is the point where you want to start really sort of playing around with the body and thinking about how you want it to be posed. You might want to make something as well. So perhaps this is a tennis player that you're making and you might want to make a, a tennis racket. Or you might want to make a football that they're about to kick. Or it could be a rugby ball or a netball. Or maybe yours um, is doing Highland dancing and you're going to make some swords that it's going to be dancing over. I'm just adding on here some squares just to make the hands stand out a little bit more, a bit more definition. So I didn't add any pennies on this time. So you could make a whole group of these. You could maybe make one for each person um, in your family. They're quite nice sculptures. You could put them outside in your garden, or you could have them in the on the windows. So just pull back so you can see you can see both of them. So you see the one on the left. I used a lot more tin foil. I used a, probably an A3 size piece of tin foil for that. So good luck and please share them with us so we can see how you got on. I'm going to show you again just to remind you how to set out the tin foil at the beginning. And this might be a good, when I finish this you might want to pause the video so that you can have this piece up and have a look at it just as a guide. You don't need to write on leg and arm if you can remember which part's which, but it's just to help you see. 